Right. I don't want to mess up my paper. That's not how you learn. I'm a visual learner. So if you guys remember, there's two rules that I want you guys to write down if you forgot these two rules. Um, the two rules are x to the m times x to the n raised to the p, as well as x to the m over x to the n raised to the p. What the name of these two rules are, which you, we've already written down, is what we call the power to, power to product, the power to the product, and power to quotient. And basically what these two rules mean is that when you have a product raised to a power, then both of those terms in that pro um, both those terms you're multiplying by are going to be raised to that power. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to distribute the p to both of those exponents. Does that make sense? The main thing though, guys, is where everybody gets confused is please do not distribute across addition or subtraction, right? If I, had x, if I had this, I would have to multiply this binomial by itself p times. You can only do this power to product when it's across multiplication or division. This does not work across addition. So like it'll, you only have to like multiply the addition, like you gotta add those first and multiply? Nope, if you had something like this, x plus two squared. What I'm trying to tell you is that is, does not equal x squared plus 4. x plus 2, well, it equals x plus 2 times x plus 2. And you'd have to use FOIL. Oh. OK? So just making sure that you guys understand that that does not work for this. So yeah, I know I div divide him, but that's OK. Because um, we're going to only use, if you guys see, this is the power to quotient. I have the product or the power to product. I have the product raised to a power. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the x to the negative 18th to both of these. So I have x to the 1 6th raised to the negative 18th, y to the 1 3rd raised to the negative 18th. Now remember, guys, what do we do when we have an exponent raised to a power? Do you remember what we do with the powers? We starts with an m, and we multiply them. So we have 1 6 times negative 18. How do you multiply a fraction times a whole number? Well, rewrite your whole number as a fraction, and this multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So in this case, I have negative 18 over 6, which is just going to leave me with negative 3. Over here, I have negative 18 over 3, which is leave me with negative 6. And then the final thing that we talked about is what happens when we have negative um, powers to rewrite a negative power as a positive power, we need to rewrite them using the rhymes with typical. Reciprocal. So my final answer is 1 over x cubed y to the sixth.